In this uh, example of projectile motion, a baseball is struck by a bat at a distance of three feet above the ground, that's where the ball is launched from, at an unknown angle theta and an unknown uh, velocity of the ball, v naught. It does travel a known distance in a known time. It's going to travel 400 feet to the home run fence, and that takes 4.1 seconds. But the time it crosses the fence to be a home run, it's 10 feet off the ground. The acceleration in the vertical direction is the acceleration due to gravity. It's a negative because we're working this problem with positive in the upward direction. The acceleration in the x direction is zero because I'm ignoring air resistance, ignoring air resistance. So let's write down some equations that uh, apply to this motion. One would be the equation happening in the x direction. x is equal to the component of the velocity in the x direction multiplied by the time, multiplied by the time. And the component of the velocity in the x direction is equal to the velocity times cosine of theta. You ought to draw your own right triangle here, but we're adjacent to the angle theta for the x component of the velocity. So the cosine function multiplied by the hypotenuse of the right triangle that you would create is appropriate here to find the x component of the velocity. In the y direction, our final y direct position, and I have 10 feet here, we'll convert that to meters later and we'll do another little uh, semi-trick to simplify the problem. The final y position is the initial y position plus the initial y velocity, that's the component of v naught in the vertical direction, multiplied by the time plus one half a sub y t squared. And v naught in the y direction, again, make your own little right triangle, v naught in the y direction is opposite to the angle theta. So we'd use sine theta to calculate the y component of the velocity. Um, so there's uh, what we have to work with. And the velocity is unknown, theta is unknown. The time, the acceleration, the y values, the x value, those are given. So we have two unknowns here and two equations to work with. And I'm going to solve this through the method of substitution, through the method of substitution. And what we can observe here, first, if I would substitute in v naught x is replaced by v naught cosine theta, and I'll write it down here so it's a little easier to see. So x is v naught cosine theta, start cosine with a c, and then multiply by time. I'm going to solve this for v naught. The first thing we want to solve for is the angle of the bat. So I want to get rid of the unknown symbol for the velocity. So I'm going to solve for v naught, and then substitute that into the y equation. So x and I left off my theta, x divided by cosine theta, and also divided by t. When I put that into the y equation, we'll get uh, some simplification, so we'll come to that. First, let's convert the, uh, the 400 feet into meters, <clears throat> and when we do that, we take the uh, conversion factor, one meter is 3.281 feet, and this gives us 121.9 meters. 121.9 meters is the x value. I need y and y not. Well, let's change our coordinate system. Let's make y equal to zero, where the uh, ball was struck by the bat. When we get to the fence then, we're going to be seven feet higher than where we started. This is three feet off the ground. This is 10 feet off the ground. So the y value would be seven feet times this conversion factor. And that gives us a value of 2.133 meters for the y. And y naught will be equal to zero. Why not? 
So let's go ahead and put those numbers in. Uh, working with this y equation, we've got 2.133 meters equals zero plus for v naught y, I'm going to use v naught sine theta. And we um, multiply by the um, so v naught y is v naught sine theta. And we have a t here. And then 1 half a y t squared. I'm sort of gradually doing the substitutions and the replacements that I need to do. I'm going to drop the units here. Everything's in standard units. 2.133 and where we have the v naught, we're going to replace that with x over cosine theta t. And we have sine theta t. So we're just replacing the v naught with the x over cosine theta times t. And then we have the 1 half a t squared. Now some numbers. 2.133 equals, our x is 121.9 meters. The sine theta divided by cosine theta, that's a tangent theta. And the t's cancel off. I've got a t multiplier in the numerator and a t multiplier in the denominator. And then we have 1 half minus 9.81 finally and t squared. We're trying to find the time, so it's good to have it as an unknown. Um, oh, sorry. The time is known. 4.1 seconds. And that has to be squared. So it's not good to have it as an unknown because my theta is an unknown. And we just have, I want to have one unknown and one equation at this point. So we have that. So the process here, take minus 9.81, divide by 2, multiply by 4.1 squared, and this will produce 82.45. You should check that. Um, and now I have to add that to both sides. When I add 82.45 to minus 82.45, of course, it adds to 0 here. But it adds, accumulates over here, and I get 84.59, roughly equals 121.9 tangent theta. Divide both sides by 121.9. We find 0 0.694 is equal to tangent theta. I'm crowding a little bit here. I now have to take inverse tangent of both sides. Take inverse tangent of both sides. So tangent minus 1 is the symbol. It's not uh, 1 over tangent, but it's a special symbol, inverse tangent. It's not a power. It's a notation. 0.694 equals inverse tangent of tangent theta. Barely on the screen. Inverse tangent of tangent theta. And on the right side, the inverse tangent and tangent functions cancel. So I just get theta. Put your calculator in degree mode and process the inverse tangent function on 0.694. When you do that, you get 34.8 degrees. So that's the launch angle for the ball, 34.8 degrees. How do we find the velocity? Well, that's easily done. Our substitution equation was that the velocity is equal to x over cosine theta multiplied by t. We now know the theta. T was given. X was given. So put in those numbers. 121.9 divided by cosine, and this is meters, cosine of 34.8 degrees. And we have 4.1 seconds as our time. So use your calculator. 121.9 divided by cosine of 34.8. Make sure you take the cosine before you divide. Uh, don't divide 121.9 by 34.8. Don't multiply 34.8 by 4.1. The 34.8 is under the control of the cosine function, so it has to be calculated separately. 
When you do this, you get 36.2 meters per second. And if you convert that to miles per hour, one mile per hour is 0.447 meters per second. And what you find is in the English system of units, V naught is about 81 miles per hour, a reasonable number. So projectile motion, you have to make use often of both the x equation. This is the only x, only equation for the x motion. For the y motion, there are the four kinematic equations. You pick the one that's appropriate. Use substitution to eliminate one of the unknowns, the two unknowns that are usually there. And now come back to your substitution equation and calculate the last unknown. So work some more sample problems on your own. Ask your instructor if you have questions.